Okay, so now that I've had significantly less trouble fighting these knights on the way back, for reasons unknown, I have no idea why I haven't had trouble this time. Uh, I forgot to mention something. If you started the Sigmire quest, which I did not, because I quite honestly just don't care about it, the next area of it is right over there through those doors where you have to fight, I think, four total knights? Three in one room, and then the one right there behind that little archway, so be aware of that. Uh, so if you want to finish that quest, there you go. I have no interest in it, so I'm not going to, but let's try that opening that shortcut again. This time, with quite a bit less failure associated with it. Because last time was pretty much one of the worst showings I think I've ever had on camera, as far as Dark Souls goes. After the first night, you can pretty much unlock the shortcut without having to fight the second one, I think, but... The first one I kind of messed up, uh, yeah. Let's try not to have that happen quite on the same level again. Off to a swimming start, I might add, because this is going just great. And this is not where I want to fight a guy with a spear. Because a guy with a spear has a very big advantage on narrow corridors as opposed to a guy with a katana. Unfortunately, I don't think he'll chase up this high to go up into the courtyard, which would be where I want to fight him. So I think I'm going to have to fight him down there. Or on the stairs, which is an even worse place to fight. Come on, keep going up. Actually, I think one of the best places to fight a guy with a spear is on stairs, but... It's kind of hard to see on stairs. To be honest, because your camera is constantly going everywhere. There we go. How hard is how hard was that, Barak? You didn't have to die and embarrass yourself. I know. But, my, but the luck gods dictated it. Now that I don't fail right at the finish line, which is a disheartening experience whenever you fail right at the finish line, which is pretty much what I just did there. I believe right over there behind that gentleman over there is my favorite armor set in the entire game, which is the one they wear. So if you want that, I think that's where it is. I don't really care about it right now because I don't have enough uh, equip load to wear it comfortably, but yeah. This is, in here is where you unlock the other two shortcuts which are good for later game, but not really right now. I guess it could be right now. It depends on where you want to run back from, but... I prefer unlocking the shortcut up here first. I mean, you can go down there, open the main doors. That's where you do it. It's right down there, as a matter of fact. But right now, I'd rather unlock the gate to the shopkeeper, which I believe is over here. I believe out there is, what, a bow? A crossbow? Something like that? But it's a death-defying leap that I don't recommend you do until you open the shortcuts. One of those noob traps. Ooh, I wonder what's out the window, and it died. <laughs> and now you have to go all the way back. Ah oh, yes, noob traps. We love you in Dark Souls. I mean, they, they can be really nice if you know where you're going, but other than that, no. <laughs> of course, over here, we have to be a little careful and just... I'm just gonna blitz this thing down. Because it was in a corner, and that's the safest way to go about doing that. Just blitz it down. Don't get too close to that one. So it doesn't aggro, and then open the door. And we have a shortcut. Hallelujah. Now time to go unlock the better shortcut. And this guy, I believe, enchants your weapons? Not enchants, he... What is he? He does something special. I've been too long since I played this. Who are you for your weapons? I think he can... Right, yeah, he can modify your stuff too. I forget which embers he likes. Oh, lightning. I think he does lightning weapons. I can actually uh, I can actually get large titanite shards. I could upgrade my my uh Iaito now, I think. So I think I will because I like that weapon more than this. Yes, I know, you can forge. That's pretty much all you do, and I don't blame you for it. Man has passion. I'll give him that. Alright. I don't remember how many of these I need. I remember I need a lot of them. That's why I bought seven. I need to buy nine in the future. Nine. Not seven. I just buy... You know what? It doesn't even matter at this point. And now, do we have enough to modify it? 
No. What? Oh, I have to go to Andre for that. Crap. I have to go to Andre to modify that. Well, crap, I still would rather use the Uchi Katana then because it has more damage. I'm gonna need that in the next boss fight. The next boss fight is either going to go really swimmingly or just terribly where I want to rage all night. That's the way this next fight's gonna go down. It could go down like Sif the Great Wolf, my first let's play, when, and uh, again, if you haven't watched that, I recommend you do, if nothing else, because it's one of the few times I've ever raged on camera, so people probably like that. Why, I don't know, but people seem to like that. Oh, my t bull pie, my attacks don't go through, but his does. I see how, I see how it goes. On a serious note, though, once we get down there, the level's basically over, and then it's just the boss fight. I'm still learning how to take care of these things. I'm just practicing. Whoops, I always think they're gonna lead up with a second lead off with a second attack. That was just bad. Just bad all around, and I should feel ashamed of myself. Because I do. Oh great, not where I wanna fight this guy, a narrow thing. No. So seriously, I he has faster attacks than I do. I can't really pull this off. Why am I one hitting my weapon? There. No. No. I say no. Damn it, man. Stop swinging. You know I gotta back up when you do that crap. You do it on purpose. Seriously, dude. You're just gonna keep pulling this crap? Do you do anything else? No, he doesn't do anything else. Charlie was recruited because he's a simple man. All he does is swing. That is that knight's name now, Charlie. Because he's really getting annoying. And I don't like him. And I think that's the universal name for an enemy in, the, in the, I think it was the Vietnam War. We were always looking for some guy named Charlie. That was without a doubt one of the dumbest plays, yet also one of the most impressive looking plays I've ever done. By all rights, I think I should have gotten hit with that last arrow, but uh... Hey man. Sometimes you don't need skill when you got luck. Please know Brock does not endorse not being better, he actually does want you to get better. And now is not the time to try and do that quest right now. Because if I try and do that quest right now, with no Estus, Actually, I don't think you can even heal with Estus during that fight, so it doesn't really matter all that much, but you want to do this first. Of course, I kind of put myself between a rock and a hard spot, because I either have to try and fight this thing, or go out there and aggro two more. And these things are tougher than the ones outside, but they're also a lot easier to fight if, you're, if you've fought them before and know how to deal with them. Of course, I have never fought them like this, so I don't know how to deal with them, so, you know, there's that caveat that we kind of forgot about, but... I'm going to die now. Why do I keep one-handing these things? I don't hit triangle that often. What the hell, man? I'm not going to try and go into the boss fight right now, because that would be akin to suicide. I can't fight these things probably with even 10 Estus at full health, much less zero at whatever in hell you want to qualify this health at. So what I'm going to do, normally if I want to go for boss rushing, I usually use the bonfire all the way over there. But I don't think that's really efficient because you got to run past the ones here, the things in here, and I think most people use the bonfire near Solaire, but I never really tried to do it that way. Because it just seems so much, like so much uh, work to go that way, but whatever you want to do. I'm not going to try and fight those things right now. I probably should just try and get as much as I can, like get as far back as I can, go rest, and then go try these these two. I've been trying to just avoid going into Ornstein and Smoke, but I can't really avoid it anymore. The door is right there. I gotta go fight them. There's no two ways about it. But we'll go backwards to show the path that most people would go to fight these things. Which I think actually I just went right past. Dirt, dirt, dirt. 
<laughs> We're gonna take the path that most people would go, except in reverse, to show people out there, like, how do you get there fast? Like, how do most people get there? Okay, I'll show you. We all remember this room, the one I should never have died in and did. And you remember way back in the beginning of the thing when I said, oh, what's this room? Oh, that's a shortcut. Well, we're back here. So literally just run up there. There you go. You're done. Let's rest here. Normally, I'd recommend you kindle this bonfire well, at least once. Uh, you, if you haven't gone to the catacombs, well, that's pretty much all you'll be able to kindle it. So, you know, there's that wrong way. There's that. Oh, God. Well, I was trying to roll backwards, and I gotta admit, I was pretty sure his attack animation was already halfway through, so he shouldn't have backstabbed me there, but I'll take it, I guess. I just didn't think I was gonna get backstabbed there. I forgot this was Dark Souls, not Dark Souls 2, where you need an animation. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm not fighting that, because I'm doing terrible right now, so screw you. Just screw all of you, I don't care. Not you, audience. Just all the knights. I don't like the knights. Not on this character. Not at all. Because they're goddamn tracking. This is the only downside to going this way. Normally these things aren't a problem. Because you can normally just block, swing, block, swing through two of these knights. And you're back to the boss. Unfortunately, because these things are my bane this run. I gotta go through two of these if I want to go this way. And the worst part is these things aren't even difficult. They are not even difficult by most people's standards in Dark Souls. And I'm having this much trouble with them. Because I'm just terrible. And I'm getting rather pissed, I gotta tell you. Because I, I, I don't do well when I'm doing terrible. No, nope, still not gonna do that now. I'm starting to get a little annoyed. And because of that, I say screw all of you. I'm just gonna run. So screw you, okay? Especially screw you. And I'm I'm leaving. I actually took less damage just running past everything than I would have actually just fighting them. So what? I never learned how to fight them. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. I don't give two craps. Especially because I accidentally used a humanity earlier to heal when I had no intention of actually doing that. You gotta love those moments. Whoops, I used a humanity. Um... Yeah, you should probably just start over, because you should never have done that. Now this, here we go, either heaven or hell, right in here. More likely hell. I really pushed the envelope there, really should not have tried to drink, but I didn't want to go in this fight less than full health. There's Smog, the fat bastard. And there's the one you want to kill first if you're new to the game, Ornstein. You can kill the fat one first, but it's going to be a hell of a lot more difficult if you kill the fat one first. At least in my experiences. Now this... That's a nice start. Thank you for that, by the way. Aw, oh, shit. Well, I'm pretty sure I should have gotten hit there, but I'm not going to argue with... You can tell how fun this is going to be. One whoopsie, and I'm nearly dead. Another whoopsie, and I'm nearly out of Estus. And another whoopsie, and I really am almost out of Estus. My god. He wasn't kidding about how awful he's going to be in this fight. No, I, I was not kidding. At all, that is the worst part. Unless I perfect this from now on, this fight's basically over. The hardest part is just getting set up in this fight. Oh, for God's sake. Just continuously trying to make my life hell. By not splitting up. Okay, now, no, come on. You dick. Seriously. Come on. Split up, you frickin' bastards. Nah, just keep staying together. That'll make it much easier. Okay, so... The main thing here is you want to get Ornstein by himself. Never mind that I was rolling there. That does not matter. In the least. Damn it. I don't want to die without doing a single bit of damage. That's embarrassing, is what all that is. 
But it looks like that's what's going to happen. Haha! -ha. I got damaging! I didn't get shut out. This matters as a point of pride for me. Like, I don't know why. If I just die without going down without a fight, it's just like, damn, I'm a failure as a player. Never mind that I am a failure as a player with this build, but I'm, I want to feel better about the fact that I'm supposedly not, alright? That was really stupid to try and hit him there, because I don't want to do damage to Smoke. You don't want to split your DPS in this fight. Splitting your DPS or damage per second is an extremely bad idea. Due to the way the mechanics of this fight work, I made a terrible mistake going this way. They were going to pincer me. Positioning's more than any, like everything in this fight. If you're not in a, if you're not in a terrible position, the fight's not too terrible. But if you, yeah, if you get caught in a corner, that's GG right there. You're done. Unless you got like a great great shield of Artorius up your in your backpack, that ain't gonna help. Come on. I never know which way to dodge if I actually want to get hit in on Ornstein because he just does that poking attack. God damn it. Welcome to the fight that never ends. Just because... Oh, no, it ended. Who would have thought? He just flashed up behind me and boom, there it goes. Oh, damn.